All right, we're back, and we finished doing problem number 15 and number 16. Great, let's continue. Let's do problem number 17. Problem number 17 asks us for current liabilities. And luckily I can spell current liabilities. Find this by taking 30, 30K plus 10K. Pretty easy. Yep. But what do you need to account for in addition to what's blatantly obvious? Well, remember up here, current liabilities, we borrowed $60,000 worth of a loan. Yeah. So that's not going to be on this balance sheet here because this was drawn up January 1st before the loan was taken out, supposedly. I'm skeptical that this transaction ever occurred, but let's, let's just do it. What are, the, what are the current liabilities of that loan? Well, the loan is a big liability. Current liabilities are the things you have to pay back the first year, so the loan, the current liability portion of the loan is gonna be $60,000, the total principal of the, the debt, divided by the, divided by the 10 equal annual payments to get payment per year. And you know, you just take the first year's payment, which is gonna be $6,000. <sighs> year one payment. That's that looks terrible. But year one payment equals sixty thousand divided by ten years equals oof, six thousand. Perfect. Let's just add that six. Let's just add that six thousand here. And here we go. Gonna come to 46, and and that's the answer to to number uh, 17. Although in the book you're gonna have to answer with letter B. Okay, so now let's do number 17. It's getting getting kind of late. I I edited the first videos that I took. It took forever. God, it was just awful. So, probably the worst thing, the worst part about this, now I know why this doesn't get done very often. Uh, Non-current liabilities. That's what they're asking us about in number 18. Okay, so what are non-current liabilities? Yeah, they're right up here. Not long-term debt. Looks like it's just that $50,000. But... But, what about that loan? We took out that loan and it had a current liability portion, that 6,000. The, yeah, you bet it's a, it's a long-term thing. It's a non-current liability. And to find that, you're just gonna, I'm doing a pretty poor job with this right now, but 60,000 minus 6K is going to be your, uh, a part of your equation to, consolidate the non-current liabilities. Number 19 in the last problem, it asks us for stockholders' equity. So, let's write that down here. Uh, stockholders' equity, great, that's pretty easy. You just you just take the original, the parent company's stockholders' equity account, add it to the consolidation we're building. Uh, plus, well, do you add this? No, that's already on the books uh, in the form that you just don't need to add. What you do need to add is that that non-controlling interest. Remember, we only purchased 80% of this thing. Somebody else owns 20% of it. Uh, it's ridiculous, but it's the facts. Now, calculating the non-controlling interest will be easily done by taking 0.2, the, the percentage you don't own, times the tab, the total acquisition value of the company. That came to be like 750, I think. 